Well, continuing with the St. Patrick's Day festivities, here's something that you can try to make at home. Chef Jeff from Smith's Food and Drug, the sponsors of this segment, are serving up some shepherd's pie. Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it's a holiday that's close to my heart. I have a lot of family from Ireland and so this, this recipe, it also reminds me of my mother quite a bit because she made it all the time. Uh, but instead of the corned beef and cabbage, we're making shepherd's pie. Um, now if you're not familiar with what shepherd's pie is, it's like a, a meat with potatoes and cheese on top of it. Um, super good. Now remember that uh, shepherd's pie, we're, sh we're herding sheep or lamb, not cows. So we're using ground lamb as my meat base. Right here I have um, some hamburger, and, or not hamburger, sorry. I made that big deal, it's lamb with some uh, uh, onion. And what I'm gonna do now, I've cooked that down and uh, took all the extra fat out of it. I'm gonna add some things to it. I've got some beef broth, I have some Worcestershire sauce, uh, garlic, a little bit of flour to thicken it, and then I have rosemary, thyme, parsley, salt and pepper, and then some uh, tomato paste. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that together and just kind of let it do its thing. And then we'll go on to the potato portion of this. Takes just a second. Okay, meat's going, now it's now potato time. I've just uh, boiled some potatoes, got all the extra moisture out. I always put them back in the hot pan just to get rid of that extra moisture. To that, I'm gonna add salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and then cream and butter that are warm. I don't wanna put cold cream and butter into mashed potatoes because then they'll get gummy. So I'm just gonna mash those until they're creamy. Okay, my potatoes are all ready to go, nice and creamy and cheesy. Now I'm gonna add some peas, carrots, and corn to my meat mixture. And then I'm gonna get this ready to go in the oven. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees. Get a nice baking dish of some kind. Just kinda of spread all of that yumminess in the bottom of the pan. And then, I do have to say though that when my mom made this, she always used a ground beef. Now, if you use ground beef, it's, it's not called shepherd's pie, it's called cottage pie. Um, but because ground lamb wasn't as popular a thing. But we'll get the potatoes on there, spread them, get them cheesed up, and then it will go in the oven. Takes just a second to spread that out. Potatoes are spread, but I have to put more cheese on it because it's delicious. And so I put Irish cheddar on there just for the season, right? And so Irish cheddar goes on top. You can find that at Murray's Cheese at your local Smith's. And then into the oven it goes for about 25 minutes just until that cheese melts and gets nice and bubbly on top. Okay, so it's out of the oven. It took it about 25 minutes or so. It's time to serve it up. What I love about this meal is that it reminds me of my mom also. It's got everything in one. It's got your, it's got your meat, it's got your veggies, it's got your starch, it's got it all in one. And it's a great way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, speaking of which, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, you can find all of these ingredients at your local Smiths. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for shopping. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. For this recipe and for more information, visit smithsfoodanddrug.com. There's more Las Vegas now after this break.